Nestled in a unique alpine landscape sits Grindelwald. Sitting at the base of the commanding north base of the Eiger Mountain, Grindelwald is a picturesque village in the Jungfrau region of Switzerland. With beautiful hikes in the summer and spectacular skiing in the winter, Grindelwald is a year-round destination that draws hundreds of thousands of visitors each year. While Grindelwald is an alluring town in and of itself, the most fun you'll have is by getting up high above the valley floor with one of the town's many cable cars. From the top of adventure at Grindelwald Feast to the jaw-dropping view of the big three, Eiger, Monk, and Jungfrau on a panoramic hike, Grindelwald needs to be on your Switzerland itinerary. Join us as we take you on some of the best scenic journeys you can have from this idyllic Swiss town. We start our day off bright and early by catching a train from our home base of Wildersville to reach Grindelwald. Good morning from Grindelwald. We just got off the train and this town is looking so beautiful. We're really excited to be exploring it later on in the day. But we're gonna be hitting up Grindelwald first, first and taking up a cable car to get there. So when we got off the train, we're actually genuinely surprised at how many people are already hitting up the same cable car that we are. We literally took the very first train from the Interlaken area. Yeah. And there's quite a few people already hitting up. That was a long cable car ride. I think it was 25 minutes just to get all the way up to Grindelwald Fierst. And it looks beautiful the entire way up. All we had was the perfect view of the Swiss Alps. So right now there's a few different things we can do here, which we're gonna show you guys. But first we had to come over to the viewpoint because the sun rays are shining so perfectly against the mountain face. This is absolutely incredible. Probably one of the best scenes we've ever had. The reason why Grindelwald Fierce is so popular is because it's called the top of adventure. There are tons of adventurous experiences that you can do from here, some paid and some free. We'll talk about the paid ones later, but right now we're gonna check out the free experiences. The first attraction that we're gonna see is called Fierce View, which gives you a really beautiful sight of the surrounding valley. And this is actually their newest attraction. If you haven't seen Crash Landing on you, you really should. It's super dramatic and all the good things of a Korean drama. And this is actually an official filming location where they did the parts in Switzerland. I think I cried in every single episode, so go watch it. Ooh, another day, another hike. Quite literally yesterday, we hiked four hours to go and see Oceanacy, which by the way, was one of our favorite hikes ever. And if you haven't seen that video, make sure to go and check that out. But here on Grindelwald Fierce, there's actually a hike you can do as well. And that's to go and see Bakopsi. Bakopsi is another beautiful lake that we cannot wait to see, but we are so exhausted. I think after three days straight of hiking, even this super easy trail is getting the best of us, but 
pretty much anybody can do this hike. It's a wide paved gravel trail. I think only 100 meters in elevation gain, over 3.1 kilometers to get to the lake. We finally made it to Baokapsi. It's honestly so beautiful here with the lake right behind us as well as the Jungfrau Mountain in the distance. And we were really surprised because it's not that busy here. Because a lot of people like to stop at the first lake. It's like an unnamed reservoir. And we thought that that was Baokapsi as we approached it, but it's not. There are actually two lakes and a lot of people like to stick around at the picnic benches situated right between the two bodies of water. And I think also a big reason is because they feel like the better view is the one closer to the mountain. But it's actually not. It is here at Baokapsi because you kind of see a line with a little hut in the middle and then the gorgeous Jungfrau in the back. We made it back to Fierce and the final free attraction that we had to do was the cliff walk. Sometimes it's pretty cool because the boulders stick out so much you have to duck under them. And if you look down through the grate, you can see hundreds of meters below you. Another cool thing is that at the very end of it, you can actually walk to the very end and get a photo. But the lineup is so long, I don't think we're going to wait for it. As we head back down to Grindelwald, this is a perfect time to explain the four different paid attractions that you can do here. There's a zip liner called the First Flyer, which seems a lot of fun. And you do it at the very top. There's the First Glider, which is actually sort of like a zip line, but you go upwards and lay on your stomach. Then there's a mountain cart, which looks like a really fun mountain tricycle, and you lay back down, ride it down the mountain. And finally, it's the trotty bike, which is sort of like a scooter, but in bike form. You can ride that all the way down to Grindelwald. We're just walking through the town of Grindelwald right now, and honestly, it is just so beautiful. Not only because of the different architectures, because of the old school chalet look, which I absolutely love, but also because of how close those mountains are. Like you can kind of see right there behind me, they're just so massive, they're just in your face, and they look so cool. Another thing is this kind of town has a really great charm to it. It has this like small town vibe. It's actually not too busy here, which I'm really surprised about, even though it's right around lunchtime. So it's just really pleasant for us to look through. We're gonna walk around for a little bit, look at different vantage points, just take in the architecture of Grindelwald before we head over to a different spot that's quite close to here. Onto our second cable car of the day, which you can also take from the town of Grindelwald, heading to Manlichen. And we're gonna be doing yet another hike, this time all downhill, and we're gonna be ending at Klein Scheide. This is actually such a family friendly place. There's a whole playground back there full of kids and it's actually a panorama hike that's about 40 minutes long and that is great for kids as well. So I think if you got children, you got a family, coming over to Malahan is actually a fantastic choice. Now that's not the hike that we're doing though. We're actually going to be hiking all the way to Klein Scheidegg, which is about an hour and 30 minutes. And again, as Lauren said, it is mainly downhill, so it's all good.
No matter how sore we are, I am so appreciative of this hike because of how flat it's been thus far. And no matter where we are on the trail, we always have Iger and Monk right in front of us with Grindelwald to our left. And most of it is completely shaded. So we cannot recommend this hike enough. We finally made it to Klein Shedeg, and this concludes our hiking for the entire day. But our cable car rides are not yet done. So actually, we're gonna go from this station up to Eiger Gleitcher by a really cool train from what it seems like. So we're gonna go hop on that, head over to the top before we make it back down to Grindelwald. This is the biggest cable car that we've ever had to ourselves. And it's also the fastest way for us to get from Ivy Bletcher down to Grindelwald. Just a 15 minute cable way, that's it. 